Hey coach, welcome to teachups.com. Very excited you decided to join us. Uh, a couple things. First of all, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell up above. Um, you'll get new resources, but more important, go over and check out teachups.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a one-stop shop for basketball coaches. If you're looking for resources, if you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for just a little bit of everything, teachups.com is the answer for you. Have a great day. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to High School Hoops. It's been a, it's been a while, coach. Yeah, we are busy, 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 We're busy, 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 busy in the season. Anyway, yep. so I, I texted him and said we got to get on and and do some. So anyway, yeah, you're going to Florida soon. You got, don't have time for me at that point. Yeah, yeah. It, well, knock on some wood. I've been healthy so far. We'll see. Good. That probably won't last this week. Um, anyway, before we get started, I'd like Our to do, a big, do a big sponsors. First of all, Doctor Dish has signed up for another year. Yes, there we go, Doctor Dish. Best shooting machine ever. Best shooting machine ever. Uh, mention Coach Unplugged. Mention me. Mention High School Hoops. Mention any of our podcasts in the seven that I have out right now. Got a couple more on, on, in the queue. But anyway, um, that I'm thinking about. But the, I'm calling it my my uh, basketball podcast network. I'm going to have to name the network. Anyway, mention they'll give you 450 bucks off. I tried to get, I got them to bump it up. Um, so yay for them. Um best discount out there so anyway go over and do that also go over and check out ttroops.com for coaches who want to get better the one-stop shop as coach just ran off before we started this one he had to, he had to hand something off to a friend and um i just saw that i had just gotten seven or eight new um videos um from that i had just gotten and just acquired and one of them coach hurley so i'm pretty excited i gotta go watch that one when we're done um what do you mean anyway. ordered a video huh you like ordered a video no i bought the rights to these videos so they'll be on teachhoops.com so and coach hurley laid you added to teach hoops well i bought them from the person that hey, yes yes so. that's it, that's pretty cool coach hurley is amazing so yes he yes he he's one of the best one so, of the best yeah so go over and check it out teach .com for coaches who want to get better that's exciting that's really cool Prices are going to keep going up. <laughs> all right. All I got right, two all kids right. in college next year. Two kids in college. Has your daughter year. decided where she's going? She has not. So we're working on it. It's going to be a spring full of trips and inquiry. But anyway. Interesting. All right. So today that's we're going to another conversation. That's a whole other conversation. All right. <laughs> and, I, and, and to be honest with you, in like 50 minutes, I got a, a office hours for teachhoops.com. So another plug for teach hoops. So coach and, I, coach and I are on a, tight, on, a, on a tight 45 today. That's just going to help us be concise and effective. It that's is. Right. Usually we talk too much BS and then we'll have to <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, so look, the first, the, the topic today is talking about um, practice and practice expectations and attending practice. Right. So really it's about the thoughts of when players miss practice and the expectation yes. of, um, so, of, are we, are we looking at, we're looking, obviously this is high school hoops. Are we looking at each level? Are we looking as a program wise? Nope. I think it's a program and I think this is different for middle school and elementary. I agree. And I think there are different levels that we could maybe dive into at some point. If we have time, we'll, we'll watch the Talk clock here, other time. but, um, at the high school level. So here's my rule. And this has always been my rule. And I question this rule because I've had some issues um, this year. Um, so I called my bro big brother and asked him about it. And he goes, well, no, I don't think the expectation of being on time and being there is an, <laughs> and working hard is, an, is you just being old. Because he was teasing me because it was my birthday. Um, but, Happy uh, 37th birthday, buddy. Thanks. It was yesterday, actually. It was. It was. Yep. Got to go see my daughter on opening night at Christmas Carol. That's cool. She's in the play, huh? She is at the That's Overture in, couple, in front of a, two or three thousand people, and her professional performance is awesome. Very and cool. Very cool. And then I um. Are you putting a plug in for me to go down to Madison go you watch it? See it. It's really, really good. You think my kids would like it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Now, All right. what's your youngest? How's your youngest? He's four. Yeah, almost the, five. The scary guy that comes out in the chains might be a little scary for maybe. If he's if he's tough, then take him. But no, oh, it's really tough. it's really good. It's really <laughs> really good. Um, That's awesome. And then we went to Rare, which is one of the better steak joints. I don't have a sponsorship with Rare. If they hear this and want to get a sponsorship, <laughs> I had some wagyu last night. So, Ooh, yeah. lived it up for your birthday. 
I did live it up for my birthday. I got it in the refridge. I'm going to eat it tonight. Nice. It's not real Wagyu. It's like. <laughs> All right. Fake, back to Mystic Practice. Fake Wagyu. <laughs> but the real Wagyu is like, like $90 per ounce or something. This was kind of like semi Wagyu. It was Wagyu and beef put together anyway. i don't even know what wagyu is but i'm not gonna ask you i'll look oh it up you're gonna later. i'm gonna gotta tell all the listeners wagyu okay go ahead go ahead go, ahead. go tell what wagyu a, is because i have no clue what wagyu it's a type is. it's a type of uh it's a type of steak that you can only they only they only um slaughter like four thousand heads of beef or five thousand in this specific wagyu region of japan Ooh, and they see oh it's unbelievable it's it, when you look at a wagyu steak it's as it's as much white as it is red it's it, it and it has to pass this and there's only like i don't know a handful of places in the u.s that actually serve the actual wagyu which is very very and it, do you know how to spell wagyu w-a-y-g-u i think w-a-y-g-u I people are gonna w-a-y-g-u <laughs> yeah w-a-g w-a-g-y-u if you type w-a-g- it in wagyu is a collection name of four principal japanese breeds of beef of cattle all wagyu cattle derived from a specific blah blah blah, blah, blah. yeah it is when you look at it it's crazy anyway this is high school hoops we'll get back to that so if we see more coaches talking about wagyu we know that we got our listeners yep. going don't have that. any don't have any affiliation with wagyu either or rare steakhouse in the square on the square in madison wisconsin <laughs> it's not, tell them, coach collins sent you if you go there there you anyway, go and bring your pocketbook um because it's expensive uh anyway so uh talking about this so here's how here's how we do this um I have a meeting early and we did this year. We had a meeting early and we talked about expectations and I explained to them that this is like a classroom and it's a talented and gifted classroom for basketball players. And that I'm not going to give you a test unless you're there in class and have done the material. So I, 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 I'm, I said, if you miss three days of class, I'm not going to, you're not going to walk in. I'm going to hand you the test because you're not ready. Um, and especially all the stuff that we put in as a program, you're definitely not going to be ready. So, um, here's what I do is if you miss, okay, for any reason, and you're a starter, you don't start. And if you are a non-starter, you move down. That can be any reason. It doesn't mean you won't go in a minute later or 45 seconds later if you're a starter and your grandma died and you had a, I understand it, but you miss practice. And I believe in my team. I'm going to play someone else at that point. Um, so it's not a punishment per se. It's a reward for the person that's there. Okay. Um, if it, if you do, if you do not let me know that you're not going to be there or you're going to be late, that's considered an unexcused. Um, and then I sit you, <laughs> um, cause I know they can all communicate. I know they can all. So my issue this year, a little bit is that they, um, uh, are not doing a very good job communicating. So I'm working on that. And they're communicating five minutes before practice starts. Um, and in those sense, so we're working through some of the um, nuances of coming out of COVID and that. Um, but that's an unexcused, that's just like skipping class. You're not going to skip class. Um, if you get to, th- if you, the first one, ever, basically there's a hierarchy. And if you get to the third time, I ask you to take a break from the team at that point. If you're just missing practice and not telling me. Um, and the thing is, I just think we live in such a world that they tell it's the, it's a delayed, um, it's coming out of COVID is part of it, I think. Uh, but it's a delayed thing. It's like you tell, like when we had practice at 7 30 AM and you let me know at 10 AM, that doesn't, that's not, no, (laughs) practice is over kind of thing. So I think there's some of those nuances in their teenage. COVID. What are your thoughts about families booking vacations during season time? How do you handle that? No, they just, they just, you just won't play. Like, you can't do that. Like, are you kidding me? Like, no, this is, you've made a commitment to, to all of us. Now people get COVID, people get sick. Grand- yeah. Those are things you cannot control. Die. No, you can't control it, but you're also let. <laughs> I've told, I, and it's not this year. This is probably four or five years ago. I had a kid sick for like four or five days. And then he was maybe my, I don't know if he was a starter, but he would, he got major minutes. Contributor. And he came back and I played him like seven minutes. And he goes, well, what? I go, you've been sick. 
first, I don't know your conditioning. You've missed all the prep for this opponent. It's like, I get it. And I'm not punishing you. You were sick, but you, and, and he, he run up and down the court like three times and be out of breath. And it's like, well, you're not, you're, you're out of shape now. Yeah. But I, I think Steve, we have to understand too, is that it's a the accountability factor, right? So if we don't hold one person accountable or, or that, what does that say to the team? And everybody has to remember, this is a team sport. And I think we get so, so now, especially now in the last, I don't know, forever now, I guess people are very, very selfish about themselves and we have to hold our kids accountable because we are a team sport. If you allow that player to start after missing four or five games, even being sick, what does that say to the other 10 guys busting their butt? That's where I get where I think those, those rules are in place to keep your culture of what a team is really about. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's really important to emphasize too, that it's not about you. It's about everyone and everybody's making a commitment. And yeah, when you so start choosing favorites in that kind of situation, that's when you start to have some bad apples, some bad situations within your season. No, I, 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 a hundred percent agree. Um, I think it's, um, I think it's a cultural thing. I think it's a teenage thing. I also, t- for someone that's done this a really long time and had a very succinct, good culture built up pre COVID, right? Having to rebuild it basically. Um, you know, teenagers, it's their teenage brain. I'm married to say it's, it's their brain partly too. It's like they're always going to take the easy way out if they can do it. Um, right. But you talk about the psychology part, right? It's like the whole love and logic, right? Yes. So logical consequences, right? If I don't show up to work, my students don't learn and I don't get paid. That's not appropriate outcome. Right. And so I often, I think too, we have to remember sports were not only indicated to win championships or do things and win games, but to develop characters and building like all of those positive coaching alliances, those are all about developing character. And so we have to hold our kids to a high standard. If we just let them, if we just let them mispractice and do what they want, we're not preparing them for the real world and we're not developing character and, and good, good young adults. Like that's a, that's a whole nother level of beyond basketball. And again, someone that's near the in you know in the last quarter of his career, I told them this. I said this is this is really about me making new young men, and 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 we and I told you off air we had some issues early in our season this year. I would say ninety seven percent of them fixed, Correct. fixed like like we had that big snowstorm the other day and we had shoot around in the morning and I basically told them all the night before I said make sure you leave early. You know, if you leave at 7.30, leave at 7 a.m. before, you know, so you can get here. And one of them got stuck in traffic. But, of course, he texted me right away. Coach, I am gonna, I might be a minute or two late. I'm in traffic. And he didn't do it two minutes before he was supposed to be there. He did it like 25 minutes before he was supposed to be there. So it's like, okay, okay, but get again, here when you can. Those are safe. life skills yes. that we want kids to learn because right. life happens. Right. And Life I tell happened. him, I said, you can lie to me and you can say you're doing something and you're not, but I, I don't know if you're lying. You know, if you're lying, but you, you are, but if you're lying, are you being the best version of yourself? I always you're talk not. to my, I, I even talk to my second graders about that. Like, I don't know if you're always telling me the truth, but is that really being your best self? And as much as we want to say second graders, 17 year olds, we're still developing them as, 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 as that, in that character piece. But Steve, do you think it's important as coaches to be as um, organized and being on time in practice too to set the tone? I, what I'm saying is I've heard some c- complaints from other other families in years past from, about other programs about practice not ending on time or constantly switching practices around. Do you try to keep to your schedule what's on the calendar most times given the circumstances? And do you try to end practice every every time on time uh, to – to, to kind of set that tone about the importance of how you value their time too. I don't know if that I, makes I do, sense. I do. I do. And I try to shorten it. Um, right. So yes, I think I, I do. First of all, that's yes. I do try to do that. Um, and I also tell the parents in our parent meeting early in right. the year that, Hey, let's be real. Like we, <laughs> you, you were talking about that snowstorm. We were just yep. talking about our game got canceled. Right. So I have to go down and communicate with the girls coach. My AD is not in the building. 
like, okay, we're going to go after school. They're going to watch film, blah, 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 whatever. So things shifted quickly. And I said, you have to be able to pivot with me too. Cause this, this isn't a perfect science. Right. Um, I said, this schedule I'm giving you, I give them the entire practice schedule for the entire year. Yeah, me said, too. I, that's what I used 90, to when I was in high school. Go ahead. Yeah. 90, 95% right. Right. Like, things change. Like we get bumped for something or. You know, I get sick or things happen. or a game gets rescheduled and how you approach it. It's different. Right. Girls had girls game got canceled and they have to take the Tuesday. So we have to go early rather than like I said, things right. will happen. And again, I'm teaching I'm doing varsity boys basketball. They tend to be older kids. Parents kind of have it's not. But um, yes, I think it's important to respect their time to tighten things as much as you can. Right. Um, I think that's important emphasis too is the the importance of making sure that you especially like freshmen and sophomores, I think it's really important to try to always end your practice right on time. Um, because you know, parents are invested in that. I just it shows a mutual respect. You yeah. might not get everything that you want to get in that day, but at the end of the day, you really got to create that relationship with those parents because they're coming and picking up their kids. And, and I don't know, how, we're in the Wisconsin weather, you know, they don't like sitting in the cold car for too long. You know what I mean? So we got to be respectful to their time too. So I know we are kind of not attacking, but addressing the situation with players, but I think it's also important to model the right way of re mutual respect back to the people that are involved in your program. I remember waiting. I remember hearing, I don't remember where it was, but um, growing up, it's like, I, you, you I you, I don't wait for you you wait for me <laughs> like like you're there early like I'll I'll come pick you up but I'm not waiting for you you better be exactly ready, ready to go like, right I, yeah I think that's um again going back to what my brother said I think it's a life like I'm just trying to teach you like you're not gonna no matter where you work like I said I can't my first hour if I show up 20 minutes late every day to my first hour you don't think I'm gonna lose my job like so I just think it's a I think it's a skill set that we need to teach them. Now, I'm going to tell people that are listening to this that are high school coaches. You should have a parent meeting. You should have a player meeting. You should have, I mean, I literally had my guy sign something because I had a feeling this was going to happen this year. Here's what is the expectation for this. So we did I, there was three things. And then there's over communication is the key to this. Um, you know, I've told I've told kids, you know, through third strike in your take up curling kind of thing you know um it's it's time to take up a new sport so uh, <laughs> that's the sport that you picked huh <laughs> i picked curling i said maybe you should be a curler i don't know anything about curling i'm Me not either. ripping i'm not ripping on people that are curlers but all right anything else coach no this is a very good podcast it was uh quite i'm putting this but one on coach unplugged i like this one I, this one's this one a very effective unplugged. um i think it's a a point of looking at both perspectives of families and the players and the coaches and i think the uh people that listen to this gets get some really good substance out of it the and podcast. they get to hear you and i just bs also it's spelled wagyu w-a-g-y-u and the snake river farms is the one that does it in the u.s they take wagyu steak and in u.s steak high u.s steak and they breed them together so it's like a hybrid wagyu it's not quite as good but if you google it you'll see how marbled it is i'm sure it's horrible for you but it tastes like butter Butter, no, it tastes better than both. Okay. But anyway, enjoy. <laughs> you enjoy lived your coaching. birthday in a good way yesterday. Yes, yes. <laughs> bye. Hey, Coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Second all, go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach, win more games in less time. Teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that. Go over and check it out, and go check the next video out. Bye.